What is with the rain? No, it's blimmin' April. Give us some nice sun, will you, man? I've literally just rolled out of bed, as you can tell. But 27 weeks pregnant, nearly 28, but still 27 weeks pregnant today. I definitely had a growth spurt last week. I was so tired all of last week. And um, then I had like, yeah, a little bit of, little bit of growth. I was like, oh, my baby is growing. Although I was thinking the camera, she does actually look quite small, but in real life, I'm like, whoa, this bump is getting a uh, big, but I'm loving it. You know what though? I've not been following my own advice in any way, shape or form because I just can't stop scratching and I'm trying so hard not to because yeah, I'm just trying to prevent stretch marks as best that I can. And just like scratching is not, not the best, but like my boobs and my bump, I just scratch constantly. But anyway, here she is looking cute, looking large, keeping me up all night, but that's what she's going to do for a long time now. So we may as well get used to it. Before you say anything, yes, I am part of the the Jami, the James Arthur army. Just accept it, it's just who I am. If you don't agree, then just go listen to his cover of A Thousand Years on Spotify, just lovely. But anyway, right you, me and you need a chat. Ooh. We need a chat because we need a health kick. We are not feeling good, we are not feeling fresh, we are not feeling nourished. We are not feeling our best selves, and today is the day that we turn all of that around. You know, I'm heading into my third trimester. I wanna feel like my best self. It's Wednesday today, but I had a weekend of basically a food marathon. And since then, I've just been really lethargic. I haven't been sleeping at all, pretty much, apart from last night. And the reason I slept last night is because yesterday I started this health kick process and the health kick started with washing my hair and putting on a layer of tan, which might not sound like health to some, but for me, it fills my soul and I've not washed my hair in an embarrassingly long time. Like I won't even say how long, but it was getting on two weeks, which is bodes well for when I've got a newborn, so I'm sure that'll be a regular occurrence. But also Jeff booked me a pregnancy massage for Mother's Day. Oh my God, I had it yesterday. It was a Thai massage, like pregnancy massage, but oh my God, she just got so deep that like all of my, oh, everything just felt so loose and limber that last night I just fell asleep. This last night was the best night's sleep I've had in, I wanna say months, which bodes well to the fact I decided to vlog today because clearly I'm gonna be wide awake, not looking puffy, especially after I've done my skincare. I'll actually put, uh, her details in the description. It's Izzy's Thai mobile massage, so she just comes to your house. If you're pregnant oh, and you're in the sort of Cardiff, the Vale area, highly recommend. I think I might book another one for like when I'm late into my third trimester. Anyway, I'm gonna do my skincare now. Before I do, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not already. If you're not, why not? Like, it's a laugh a minute here. We have so much fun here, and you could be part of that, and all you have to do is click that subscribe button. So make sure you do that and give this video a like as well, because I guarantee you're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna have a great time. You can expect like more of this kind of like style advice and that kind of thing on this channel, so strap in. Anyway, day of health. Let's start with my skincare. Just gonna wash my face. I always use this guy in the morning. He's just the uh, super healthy skin. Face wash from Beauty Pie. It's just massive and I keep it on my sink and it's just, yeah, easy as in the morning. You're asking me my symptoms, doctor. I don't want to feel. I picked up these microfiber towels from Primark, pack of three. And you know what? I blimmin' love them. Yeah, I had like a pink one, a white one, a grey one, but oh, for removing, for removing your makeup and just like dirt from your face, just fantastic. See, it's just like gross and then I'll just throw it in the wash. Oh, in the wash. How the hell did I get that to land there? Like, <laughs> that is not, that is not okay. This is going in the wash. So my first step skincare, I'm gonna use the Ren Pump and Prime. It's not called Plump and Prime. I'm gonna use the Ren Prep and Plump Essence. It's just a really good like first step of your skincare before you shove on everything else. So I'll just use a few drops and not rub it in. It usually goes quite tacky. So I'll let that all sink in. Do my eye cream. What should we use for eye cream? I use two different eye creams. I alternate. This one is my fave probably at the moment. It's the Sunday Riley Auto Correct. Pumpy on here and then split it between the two. You should always apply eye cream with your third finger 
because that's where you get the most gentle application apparently. And then I want to do a first impressions on some skincare bits I've not tried yet. So I thought that'd be fun to do together. So I've got the new Ren Ever Hydrate range. Brand new off the block, new kid in town. Suitable for sensitive skin, it has like hyaluronic acid, polyglutamatic acid, microalgae, freshwater plant. Apparently it's gonna hydrate my skin like 75% more. What I normally do with these serums is I'll use two pumps. So let's, ooh, one. Well, that's basically three, but the first one what didn't really count, did it? Okay, it's like a water serum type vibe. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it does feel hydrating. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells like the sea. Oh, it's actually really fresh, but it feels unbelievably light and like, refreshing it feels really clean and then we'll try the moisturizer so i've got the serum and the moisturizer so this is the replenish cream marine moisturizer yeah two two pumps oh god yeah this feels nice as well oh, this feels very hydrating god, it's just so fun i love skincare so much lord knows i need some extra hydration in this pregnant face and then i'm just gonna pop on a little bit of spf because i like the little pipette love a pipette bougie in it okay Skincare done, I'll see you when I'm not looking like this. I promise I'll branch out and get dressed at some point, but I wanted to show you some of the maternity bits I picked up from Pretty Little Thing because this came yesterday. I had a brief look through it and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna like look at these properly on the vlog. Pretty Little Thing probably do the best maternity range. Like they do so much maternity stuff. Places like Zara don't even do maternity and if I'm being honest, the stuff that I've got from H&M, I just don't love it. I still want to look like myself and I still want to look cool, but I want it to fit over my bump. And I don't know about you and if you're pregnant or if you've been pregnant, I hate the like actual maternity band, like wearing something really low rise with a band. I bought some leggings from H&M, like maternity leggings, and they you know, they stop at the crotch and then you pull up this band. I'm like, I feel like my trousers are falling down. I need something that just like sucks me in. So I'd much rather something like stretchy and high-waisted. So anyway, I picked up a couple of bits. Start with these pants actually, because this is the vibe I'm talking about. I need these like Bridget Jones pants to like suck me in. These are seamless apparently. And oh, I just know these are gonna be so comfy. Just like under, you know, like summer dresses and stuff. Like I don't wanna be wearing a summer dress and then my bump is just like, underneath i want to have something that's going to just suck me in because you know the weather's going to get warmer soon so yeah i picked up some pants if i like those i'm just going to grab them in a load of other colors so yeah they are the maternity camel seamless bump support knickers in a size small okay so i bought these trousers they are very me they are ribbed you'll probably notice a theme i love anything ribbed um, and these are maternity but they're just like super long and that's what i need because i'm tall i'm tall and i have a bump so yeah they're super long they're a lovely kind of stone color that's why i really like them actually they're like this smoky stone color and these are the maternity slate ribbed flared leggings so i think these will be super handy if they look good and i feel like they should be really flattering and you can just wear them with like a sweatshirt and trainers or even just like a little t-shirt and trainers in the summer okay so these trousers i copied from a girl on tiktok they're not these exact trousers she was from america but she got them from pretty little thing and she wore such a cute outfit it was like trousers like these and she had a white shirt tucked in and a little brown bag and a little brown sandals and she just looked on fleek and i was like wow do i need to recreate that if i can so these are like pliss trousers but again really long ideal for me and they're not you know maternity with the strap they are just like really high-waisted so yeah they look really really good and i feel like these will be a nice kind of like smart option i do have high hopes for those they could be another staple this is probably my favorite one it's giving skims vibes again it's like ribbed it's like a chocolate brown bodycon dress very kim k it's called the maternity chocolate ribbed long sleeve midi dress size 10 yeah Pretty much what i just said I've got basically this dress in just like a plain black it's not ribbed and it's literally like a skims dress and it's a maternity dress and it's absolutely amazing it was not expensive at all and i wear it all the time and unless you're going to spend 84 pounds or 86 pounds or whatever they are on skims they're just really hard to find but i bought this bed shirt and i did have a little look at it yesterday it doesn't feel like the softest material so i'm gonna actually try it on and see if i want to keep it I do like that it came with a little scrunchie though. Like how cute is that? Big oversized bed shirt, which I thought would be super handy and comfy for bed 
with a bump. So I'll try it on, but I don't love the material. I mean, I'm here for anything that comes with a free scrunchie. I mean, it wasn't free, but like it came with the shirt. The last thing, just a basic long sleeve top, but again, it was giving me Skims vibes and it's a really nice cut. It's got like a bit of a high neck, it's got lovely long arms, and then it's got like ruching on the side for your bump. This could just be really nice with like jeans or leggings or just, it looks expensive. It feels really nice, it's got lovely material. It's called the Maternity Light Gray Soft Touch long sleeve top with side ruching, whatever, size 10. I think I picked up everything in a 10 or 10 or a small. Those are all the bits that I picked up, which is fun. Hopefully some fun stuff for me to be wearing over the next couple of months. I smashed that lemon water in, by the way. It literally revitalized me. But for now, I really need to get stuck into this day of health. And that means I need to go and do a bit of a food shop. I'm gonna do two separate food shops today. I need to go to the green grocer and get all my like fruits and veggies. And me and Jeff are gonna to go to Tesco, I think, a little bit later. So let's do a shop and let's also source some breakfast. You know, my day of health would always include spending some time outside because it's really, really important to try and get outside, you know, every day. Really good for your circadian rhythm, vitamin D, blah, blah, blah. Why has it gotta be raining constantly? So I'm not gonna let it hold me back because that's not the kind of gal I am. I've got my hood, I've got my brolly, I've got my shopping bag, and I'm going out hunting for food. So I'm gonna go and get some bread, and I'm gonna get some fruit and vegetables, and I'm gonna get a juice. Probably don't wanna get my camera wet, so let's reconvene when we are in an indoor environment. <laughs> subsided slightly which is great so I just got my juice I always get the same thing it's called a super cell and it's like celery apple lemon ginger orange yeah it's a real good one so I'm gonna have this and let's go home and make some breakfast because I'm ravenous <laughs> setting my acid reflux on fire so I've been trying to avoid as much as possible as much as it breaks my heart it doesn't bode well for this weekend not gonna lie so yeah, I'll take your egg back shall I no right <laughs> welcome to the vlog chef Jeff woohoo what's that you're reading there big guy sport in Wales oh, lovely and why are you reading that you're in it and I thought I'd have a little look what's going on what's this video about makeup Periods, totally pregnancy. Old. Had a lot of periods in the last seven months. <laughs> That's very true, very true. I'm having a health kick today because right. we had a very foodie right. weekend, didn't we? But I'm gonna go to the gym now. And as much as I don't want to, Jeff reminded me of the tips that I always give our clients. And that is just drive there, just drive there. But the amount that I don't, don't want to go is like absolutely colossal, but just drive there. Colossal. Just turn up and then if I end up just walking on the treadmill, that's fine. If I end up doing my workout, then great. If I end up coming home after 10 minutes, again, fine. You can only but try. Meantime, Jeff will be here reading this lovely magazine. Who is this? Who's this? It's you, obviously. It's me. Good article, this one. I'm not going to lie. April's, April's column, all about busting myths. Um, yeah, I do a monthly column in Sporting Wales, which is fun. So if you ever see it, make sure you pull it up and read the nutrition section. You might see a familiar face if you're South Wales or Wales local. Light me up, don't you stop. 
Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride You never regret, you never regret going, do you? But I really didn't fancy it. Yeah, now I'm back and a very exciting parcel has come. So it is for me technically, but it's also technically for my baby girl. So I don't know if you've seen them, if you're like a mum or if you're pregnant, it's the sleep carriers. Um, so they're sleep safe, they can actually sleep in these and you can just literally carry them around the house because I know a lot of people use the docker tots or the sleepy heads of which my friend is actually um, giving us her one but you have to be with them all the time so it's fine if you're like sat on the sofa watching tv they can be in that sleepy head with like the cushioning around the edge um, but these are actually like prop, you know properly sleep, sleep safe and everyone in Sweden says they can't have a baby without them and I think they're gonna get really big here to be honest I think because we've got sounds really bougie it's not but i think because we've got three floors like i'm constantly moving around like i'm in the bedroom and then i'm in the bathroom doing my skincare and then i'm probably working down here in the kitchen and then i'm going to the toilet and then i usually will go and sit in the cinema room which is just our living room upstairs and work from there so to have to having a newborn baby and to have to like wake her up all the time to like move her around with me so i want to make sure she's like with me all the time and i'm not going to want to leave her well, i can't leave her on her own obs this, I think it's gonna be a game changer because you can make it all cozy inside. Like you can get all of her like, get all of her blankets and stuff inside. It's super cushiony and cozy actually. Um, and then I can literally put her all like snuggler in like, oh you get, and then I can just pick her up, take her around the house. Like I think it's gonna be unbelievably handy. To be fair, I'm chuffed. I love it. I'm a big fan. But now, look, I know this is really, really bad, but I woke up fairly late and then I was working this morning and then I didn't have breakfast until 12. And then I had calls and then went to the gym and I've literally, all I've eaten today is that juice and the eggs on toast. So I know that's not great as soon as I'm pregnant, um, but I have, I mean, like I said earlier in the video, I've been eating a lot, so I'm fine. If I was hungry, obviously I would have eaten, but I am hungry now. Um, but I don't wanna have like a, full lunch because we're gonna have dinner in two hours so i'm gonna make like a big loaded yogurt bowl so i get the protein from the yogurt i'm gonna put some collagen in there i'm gonna put like a load of fruit in there and that should be like filling and substantial to kind of tie me over for the next two hours before we have a lovely wholesome dinner with like i think i'm gonna do like a chili chicken with rice and avocado and stuff so that'll be lovely and nutritious and so let's make a delicious yogi bowl full of color and feed me and my baby Our driving lesson, getting driving lessons so we I could drive you around and you won't even let me drive. Well, you don't have L plates on my car. I don't, uh, I don't mind when you're I'm, driving Dave's car. But his name's Richard. Oh, how disrespectful. I don't to mind Rich. when you're driving Dick's car. <laughs> but just grab some L plates and they'll be cushy. Anyway, this day of health is going really well. We had a lovely dinner and now we're off to Tesco for a late night shopping spree. We're gonna we're gonna tear it up in there to be honest. Oh hello. Oh dear. 
We're gonna tear it up, hit every aisle, see what the crack is. See you in Tesco. <gasps> oh, shh. Bum. What? What's that? Yeah, that really good transition that you always do in my vids. <laughs> this is our list. So I already got the, I already got the fruits and vegetables earlier, so. Just topping up, just replenishing some cupboard essentials. We've also decided what we're going to eat this weekend, so we can get gubbins for that. So we're going to have a halloumi curry on Friday. Jeff is going to make us like a drive-through platter on Saturday with like popcorn chicken and like, you know, those like crunchy baby bells and chips and stuff like homemade. So that'll be fun. Do you think our daughter's going to like yogurts? I think she might like yogurts. <laughs> it's so cute when she has a yogurt, isn't it? What's up? You haven't picked up your uh, barbecue chicken and bacon tomorrow. cheese. It's yeah. uh, on offer. No, sixty-three p. There I'll you make go. It so much more appetizing for there you me. Go. Uh, fun fact about Jess: she hates pre-packed sandwiches. You couldn't pay me to eat one of them. Honestly, I, I'm sorry to be a snob. You couldn't pay me to eat that. Genuinely, that's the good stuff. Right, can never get enough of these bad boys. Love them, dummy babes. How exciting is that? I thought they were gone forever. I haven't seen these in ages. My favourite sausages, Hex and Pea Chicken. I don't like the Italia ones. I don't like all the herbs at like nine in the morning, you know? These are so versatile. Oh my gosh. I honestly thought that they were, they were gone now. The expiry date's quite soon, but just have to, you have just to, have to, have to eat 10 ASAP slash put them in the freezer. Big news, get yourself to Tesco now. Look who's back. It's exciting, isn't it? Mm. Are you excited? Yeah. You clearly. Well you, well, you can eat some if you want. Thank you. Oh, I'm gassed. God, that was so shocking. You need to calm down. I'm fucking chuffed about that, mate. I had a craving, not a, cra not a pregnancy craving, just a craving for croissant. A croissant the other day. And Jeff got me one from. Excuse me. Thanks. Um, Jeff got me one from Greg's. But I'm going to get these for Easter weekend. Like, how nice that be in the morning? Maybe a bit of eggs. With that. Maybe a bit of eggs. I had mine with a bowl of yogurt and fruit to get a bit of protein and you know micros in there. But you do you. Your bagel thins. Sorry, but bagel thins are garbage compared to bagels. You like that? You, would you like that? Give me a pound. So what you want? You want a bagel thin? Don't have to do. No, I can get them bagel. It's just they're a quid. Like they're a quid. Let's get them half the price for half the size. Yeah, Comment below what your favourite nan is. Not, not your mine's nan. Mine's roast. Yeah, mine's Joan. <laughs> no, mine's a garlic nan. If you're gonna get a nan from a curry, like what do you get? I get a garlic nan. Jeff likes a peshwari, but he's so cute, he never gets it because I don't really like it. But you should. No, it's just the way it goes now. Comment below, maybe you're a keema kind of person. Do let us know. <laughs> Great. Business. You cannot be serious. What? He's going to Dublin once. Are you serious again? So he wouldn't spend one pound on squares bars, but he'll spend 33 on Guinness. It's Fair not, you spend, that's, that's my purchase, they can't, the difference. Yeah, it makes sense. Good logic. Isn't this a fun time to just have finished work with no time to wind down if I want to get a good amount of sleep and probably no time to have my ice cream because I don't want to have ice cream like so close to bed, which makes me sad because I was excited. Nourish and Gain has just been so crazy. We started the summer project last Monday, so it's been all systems girl on the Nourish and Gain front, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah. If you want an online coach with me and Jeff, link is always in the description, but our clients just are just the best and they just make my day and I just love checking in with them all day, even if it does mean finishing at 10.30 at night. Like I could be working in a bar until five in the morning, do you know what I mean? Like you can't complain. But anyway, I am gonna end this vlog now. Ending the vlog pretty much how I started it. I'm gonna have a shower. I'm gonna do my serums. The, the last bit of work you'll have to do today is appearing in the ending clip. Lovely. So, successful day of health. No, not really. Probably not Terrible mental work health. Balance. Yeah, true. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe the video wasn't. Probably honesty. Yeah, uh, there you are. But um, yeah, in terms of nutrition and stuff, I think you've smashed it with you. Yeah. And like, you know, yeah. Maybe not great. Maybe my next video should be all about mental health 
because that's definitely not taking a priority in this video. But I hope you've had fun hanging out with me, hanging out with us, me and my future hubby. We the supermarket, didn't we? Me and my future hubby. Oh, that's all that matters, as long as we've got each other, innit? Exactly, could be a lot worse. You could be working with someone you hate. Well, I saw, I heard on a podcast, I told Jessis yesterday, someone who said that the definition of happiness was working and doing what you love with the people you love. And I do do that, so it's all good. Exactly. And if you can do that, you do that. And if you do that, you're also a winner. This, there, give me a like, follow. Like and subscribe. I know I'm gonna wrap this one up. It's probably been a bit of a long one. Um, hopefully you enjoyed spending the day with me and my 27 week preggy bump and my baby daddy. Um, if you did, please give it a like because it does help the algorithm a lot for other people to discover this delightful video but also my channel. And make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos regularly and I have lots of fun videos planned. I've actually been doing a bit of YouTube planning which is really, really good and we've got yeah, lots of fun things coming up so I'm excited to take you on um, the ride with me. But anyway, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye Jeff. <laughs>